is the event that you've been waiting for all morning, all week, all year. The 2008 Rumble in Richmond at SEN Towers live. It is the mass debate for this Friday, the 18th of January, coming at you from Melbourne's debate capital of the world. I am all sorts of excited. It is all night sport, Dimmy from Thomastown versus Billy from West Heidelberg. Coming at you, we've got three rounds on the horizon. We have distinct rules that basically include no swearing or it's automatic disqualification. And the winner will be decided by SMS vote by you, the listeners. If you already know who you want to vote for, you can start sending in your vote now. All you've got to do, 0433 98 11 16, simply write Billy, B-I-L-L-Y, or Dimmy, D-I-M-M-I. And we'll get your votes. Uh, the system has been set up so that no vote will be taken from the same number twice, so don't waste your money and multi-vote. And can also tell you that don't write anything more than Dimmy or Billy. If you've got comments that you want to add, send them in a separate SMS. We'll tabulate the votes, and whoever loses this clash of the Titans will not be able to call All Night Sport for a whole week being next week. You know the rules. Three rounds. We're going to start things off with a 30-second opening statement. Then we've got our question and answer session with me, the ringmaster, and then the one-minute free-for-all, which should be interesting and could well end in a little bit of a comical fade-out, as we often like to do when Dimmy and Billy get in the ring. But right now, it's time to get underway. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Definitely, it's time in the red corner, as we heard earlier. We know him as Billy Sexy Boy, 124 pounds, from out in the old Olympic Village area of West Heidelberg. The man, the tiger himself, joining us, <laughs> joining us for this big event. How's it going, boys? How's it going, boys? He's a dud. He's a dud, foul Mel Pig. He's a dud. Of course he's a dud. That bloke is just ring up. He's a dud. Of course he's a dud. Cindy Swan, dud. Carl, dud. Adelaide, dud. St. Kuda, dud. He's a dud. I'll call him Maggot. I mean, dog weed on him. Collingwood, dad. Hawthorne, dad. Bulldog, dad. Richmond, champion. He's a dad. Billy Brown is his backside, dad. Uh, what am I talking about? We gotta be your bloody side, dad. 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 There he is, some of his finest work in musical format, one of the biggest selling singles in Australia in 2006, some of Tony Shebeki's finest work. 12 minutes after 1am, we welcome to the ring Billy from West Heidelberg. G'day, mate. I'm ready to rumble. You're ready to rumble. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. You are all sorts of pumped up, Bill. Give it to me, sweetheart. Give it to me. (laughs) All right, that's enough of that. I can't wait. I can't wait. Excellent. All right, Bill. We'll get you to hang on the line there, mate. Looking forward to it. Uh, Billy from West Heidelberg. Of course, we know he is taking on an absolutely formidable opponent. In the blue corner, weighing in at 683 pounds, BYW's own, hailing from the kebab capital of Melbourne. It is the Hawk. It is Dimmy, the Destroyer.
14 minutes after 1 a.m. and here he is, Timmy. Hello, Marco, mate. How are you going, mate? Oh, very well. I thank you for your valuable time on this all-important Friday morning. Mara, thank you very much, Mara. First of all, before we get underway, mate, I'd like to say hello to all my fans out there, mate. The Backyard Wrestling Champion is here, Mara. And Billy, you little piece of puff, you are about to be squeezed right out of the pimple, mate, because you are nothing more than a piece of junk. All right, mate, I'm, <laughs> we'll leave it there because we're going to get proceedings underway in just a moment's time. This is how it's going to work. Gentlemen, we want a good, clean fight, and by that I mean no swearing, or it is automatic disqualification. Things have not even got underway yet, and the SMS machine is exploding. We have never had this many SMSs ever. Uh, can tell you, gents, these are the rules, so listen closely. We've got three rounds. We've got a 30-second opening statement round, then we've got a Q&A session with me as the ringmaster, and then it's the one-minute free-for-all. Are you both at the ready? I'm ready to rumble. I want to make him cry like a little baby. You are a baby, Billy. Oh, you got to have your kids. You are a baby. All right, gents. All right, gents. Now, Billy, it'd be fair to say, Billy, a bit more of an all-night sport. Uh, I guess long, long-standing listener, long-standing caller. So, Bill, we've decided it's your home ground, mate. So that means that we're going to give Dimmy the choice of the coin toss. All right, Dimmy, heads or tails? Uh, mate, we're going to go with the tails there, Marco, mate. Okay. And tail, tails it is. What do you want? What do you want to do? Jimmy, do you want to go first or second? Mate, I'm going to let the lady go first, mate, because I am the true gentleman, mate. And because I'm going to say this much, mate, Marcos Bagdadis has taken it tonight for the group, and Big Dimmy is going to take it out tonight. So Billy, you can go first, you little girl. Excellent work. Okay, there it is, done and dusted. Dimmy is going to go first. All right, Dimmy, mate, here we go. The floor's yours. Billy's on hold, and basically uh, you've got 30 seconds to say whatever you like. However, as mentioned, keep it clean, please, and no swearing, but it's all yours. Marco? Go. Marco, Billy, you've got no more words except for that stupid dub word, mate. Is that all you have got, Billy? Because you are from a low paid area that is on welfare, mate, in the area of Heidelberg, West Heidelberg, I should say. <laughs> mate, Billy, you cannot even get on a push bike. That's how lyric you are. You cannot come up with anything more than dud, and all you know is red lights. Mara, you are nothing more than a piece of junk. You can't even get a girl. Dimmy's got all the girls. That's why, you piece of fool. You are nothing, mate. Believe me, Billy, mate, all you can say is Richmond are this and Richmond win premierships. Richmond win nothing but nothing but, but nothing but wooden spoons. There you go. That's Jimmy starting things off. And the buzzer goes. Good stuff, mate. We're doing the round one 30-second free-for-all. Billy, mate, you there? I'm here, baby. Bring okay. it on, bring it on. Okay, off you go. Jimmy, you are the biggest idiot on this radio station. You're always bragging that you're a wrestler, backyard wrestling. Why don't you go over to America, you goose, and <laughs> fight with the big boys? You know why you won't want to fight with the big boys? Because you know you got to get your butt kicked in, mate. And I would not ever step one foot in Thomas Town because it smells of your breath. And I don't like the smell of you. And I know for a fact you are a Collingwood maggot pea pie supporter. Because I heard you on another radio station. There you go, Bill. Time's up. Billy letting go of some of his best work. Excellent work, fellas. <laughs> All right, we're off and running. That's round one. How do you feel, guys? Mara, uh, Billy, you've You're already good. made a wrong statement because that's how you, <laughs> you, you, you laugh. Don't make me laugh. Mate, you Don't make me laugh. Anything, mate. You laugh at grandma's, mate, you dickhead. Hey. <laughs> All righty, we'll fade the boys down and we'll get stuck back into proceedings. Round two time. And as briefed earlier on, round two consists of a question and answer session. And now Dimmy won the toss and elected to go second. So, Bill, we're starting things off with you, mate. You there? Yep. All righty. Question one for you, Billy. When will Richmond win their next flag? 2009. 
2009. Excellent. What would you write in a Valentine's Day card to Dimmy? I hate his guts. What is the best thing about living in Melbourne? The fresh air is beautiful, but I hate the smell of Dimmy's breath. <laughs> Who would win in a fight between Matthew Richardson and Dimmy from Thomastown? Matthew Richardson by a knockout. Tell me something you like about Dimmy. I don't like Dimmy at all. <laughs> and what is your greatest quality? What do you mean by that, mate? What is the best thing about Billy from West Heidelberg? I'm a champion. <laughs> Excellent work there by Bill. All right, Dim, it's your turn, mate. You there? I'm here, mate. I'm ready to go, Mark. Excellent. Those answers were pathetic, Bill. They were absolutely pathetic. Here we go. Q&A for Dimmy. When will Richmond win their next grand final? Mate, in 2062. What would you write in a Valentine's Day card to to Billy? Nothing but dud. (laughs) What is the best thing about living in Melbourne? Everything, mate. The city is beautiful. The people are beautiful, and more than anything, the women are outstanding, mate. <laughs> of anyone in the whole world, who would you most like to be a part of the BYW crew in 2008? Mate, Billy, so I can whip him all over the park, mate. <laughs> and what is your greatest quality? Mate, my greatest quality is picking up the women, mate. <laughs> and tell... I am the legend of backyard wrestling, mate. Dimmy is the man, mate. And tell me something you like about Billy. Mate, uh, you know what I like about Billy? What's that? How stupid he is and how many stupid comments he makes... And nothing he can ever say is correct, mate. Well, gee, I tell you what, we are getting into it. Getting into it, folks. That's round two done and dusted. The Q&A session has been sorted out. I suppose if you could call it that. And now it's time for round three. A little something we like to call the free-for-all. Okay, gentlemen, on your marks. Get set. Go for it. 60 seconds. Give me. You know, Gimme, you are nothing but a bragger. Mara, Billy, you listen here. You're, you're nothing but a bragger. Mara, you brag when you get all these women. If I was, if I was a woman, you come up to me. You know what I'll do? I'll come up there and I'll slap your face to a yellow and black. I can't stand the sight of you, Gimme. Billy, you make me sick. If you're better than everybody else, you don't even know how to wrestle. You don't even do that backyard wrestling crap. I want to pay five cents to go and see you because you're a goose, you're a gut. Your breath smells like Billy, mate. You can't even get a word in because Dimmy knows he's right. You know Dimmy's right. Dimmy, and that's all you're I a goose. Like that. Next on to the you're occasion, right? Mara, all you can talk about is catching taxis with your little mate Ali from Broad Meadows, mate. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Jimmy, my, my Jimmy, mate Ali, mate. Jimmy, I you're a with Ali, mate. Oh, yeah, I love Ali, mate. Mara, you and Ali, mate, you sound like you're the perfect couple, mate. Maybe you and on that note, adios muchacho. Would it be fair to say that was the longest 60 seconds in radio history? I tell you what, the boys have done a wonderful job and now they want your vote. 942-911-16 if you want to have a chat about the debate. But perhaps more importantly, we need you to SMS Billy, B-I-L-L-Y, or Dimmy, D-I-M-M-I, 0433-981116 is the number. The boys did a wonderful job there. It's been a highly anticipated event. It's difficult to say where the bookmakers see it falling, but the SMSs are flooding through. I appreciate everybody having a vote. Uh, Give us a ring if you want to have a chat about it. We're going to slip in a break at 22 after 1 a.m. Any final comments, Dimmy? But, uh, Billy, you just got destroyed by the backyard wrestling champion, mate. Uh, Billy, any final comments? Shut up for a minute, Gimme. Gimme. You're six foot in the ground. (laughs) (laughs) There you go, folks. We'll leave it at that. Sensational stuff. Dimmy and Billy going at it just the way you wanted them to. 942 911 16, 23 minutes after 1 a.m. Was it all that it lived up to? On the SMS, send us through your votes. We'll tabulate them. Before 2 a.m., voting lines close at 1.55 Australian Eastern Standard Time so that we can have a result to you before the news. Billy V. Dimmy, who will it be? 11.16 SEN, Sports Flash. I wouldn't quite go that far, Frank, but it's, <laughs> it is big news as far as all-night sport goes. We have the verdict of the big mass debate. Winning the debate and therefore eliminating his uh, cont- his fellow rival